Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video and today I have something special for you guys because actually I got asked if I would like to join the team for the Champions War League but what exactly is that? Well that's actually a community league which is not 5v5 with like one attack each it's like a bigger breakdown and you have two attacks each so that's uh, I thought would be uh, looked kind of fun but then people said like who is in this team? For example, some player of Alton is in there, like Jojo for example, we have Gaku in there, we have Pekastra in there, and we have so many different pro players, I don't even want to mention any more, because I will most likely miss a lot of them, there's a lot of their second accounts, which is are just getting spin in this match, and I don't know how, but I ended up being in there as well. So, the thing right now is that we are facing off against Inquisition, and there is two bases left. I have two attacks left. What a nice coincidence. It might be like a sounds like a video idea, right? Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So today's plan for this video is going to be I'm going to do two attacks because I have an English and a German YouTube channel. I think it's only fair if I do one live attack on both channel and one voiceover attack pretty much where I show you the live footage and show you whatever happened if it's a fail or not. But I will explain what happened during the attack. The first attack is going to be the voiceover on this channel. If you want to see the live attack on the German chan channel, feel free to j hop over there. The second attack is going to be the live attack in this one. This one as well is uh, going to be the first base and it's a legend base. So guys, I'm that's that's my gem, right? Like that's my thing. I'm obviously going with Queen Charge Rocket Loons. Like I obviously have to do my current signature army kind of to actually showing off in one of those Pro match, like, not really pro match, but a lot of those pro players are in this match. Let's put it like this. Then, what's the plan? Queen charge in from the bottom side, add the warden to the queen because there's no splash damage. Let the queen reinforce with our main push and then the lock launcher all the way through the core. Funneling obviously the king, That's that needs to be done. And then the royal champion in there from the right side as well, pushing everything further into the tunnel. So something like this should be left for our rocket loots. That's the idea at least. So let's see if we can actually make that work. The army composition looks pretty familiar. I got rid of one wall breaker because we don't even need four on this one. Instead I got rid of the baby dragon as well which is in my classic army composition and I just added uh, well Nieti to final. So let's get started. We are in and we need to make sure that we're getting this perfect. We need to go two out of two to make this work. Let's see if we can somehow make this work on this base. First off, Yeti is, uh, Queen is down, starting her off at the bottom side. We need to find on the left side where I'm going to use some Rocket Loons to actually take down this air defense. Rocket Loons are so nice just to, to support um, in a surgical way pretty much that Queen Charge. It's like one of the best things you can do. And then just the Warden inside, just push everything in. I'm going to start with the funnel on the right side already as well because I need to have my King walking into our main push. I need that king inside the core to take down as much as possible. At least that's the, the planning which I have right now. So 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 far we're looking great. The test, uh, or the, not the test, but the connection wall break did work. Now the queen has to go to the right, which she should do. Yep, that's exactly what she's doing. And now we have to face the rest of this. So far, everything looks pixel perfect to be honest. We even lure up the clan cast with the next wall break, which makes things even better for us. The king is already facing off against the defending royal champion, which is great. Poison is down, king um, is dealing with the royal champion, queen is dealing with the clan caster, and then we're just adding that lock launcher to get all the way to the town, at least hopefully getting there. That would be kind of great. So, so far it looks good. The queen now though, the queen is now getting distracted. I'm not sure if she's backtracking, so I'm using that invisibility spell just to make sure. I'm not really sure if that was needed. But hey, I don't want to risk anything, so we just use that invisibility spell. Headhunter and Royal Champion to save that with the Warden ability. There we go. Warden ability, I think, was pretty much perfect timing. Royal Champion on the right side, we said he did not caught her. But instead, the king is actually going for the defending king, taking her down. But now he's getting distracted. He's getting going to the left side, which is not good for us. My queen needs to go for the town, or the town needs to go down. If the town's not going to go down, we have a one star on our hands. Which I don't want to get to be honest, I don't want to get that one star, but the queen is luckily going for that uh, town hall overall. Now we have a huge charge still left alive and we can just add those rocket loons from the outside. Adding a couple of them, just keep adding minions as well because we don't want, run out of, uh, we don't want to run out of time. Just a heavy push now with those rocket loons, we still have the rage left, which you can use. We have another rage if we need, we can use ton of freezes as well, like we just we just keep freezing that top single tower and the top tester just to make sure that everything is staying alive. We have 
four more rocket loons and they're just getting added at the top side another freeze at the top side as well and this should just secure us that three star if those rocket loons stay alive or at least like they're not more red mines and that's how things are looking like we have 30 seconds left the queen ability left as well as soon as those skeleton traps is going like all of them are taken down we use that queen ability and let's go let's go boys we are getting it done 15 seconds roundabout left there is nothing left in this base to save it and this is our first three star so we are one three star away of that perfect war so the big question now is can we make it so now let's have some fun with the last attack and see if we can go perfect Okay, even though our enemies are alive right now, we still want to just make sure that we're getting our attacks in. And I'm just going to watch a couple of those other attacks which just came in um, and see what the other guys did. Like what Gaku did, what um, like Yoyo -Yo did and so on. So let's just get into the next base, which is the last base. If I have 3-star, we have the perfect set. And this is actually right now a really, really common base. So on those box bases, I have a classic approach as well. With Queen Shot Rocket Looms, guys, I have to do this, right? I have, like when I'm in a match like this, I have to use my signature attack strategy right now. Um, and that's going to be another Queen Shot Rocket Loon. But this time, we're going to like... Okay, we're going to we're going to make it interesting. So what I'm going to do is pretty much I start the queen charge over here, wall break in here, do the connection wall break in here, do two law wall breaks, and get in next to the clan cast. Uh, sorry, what is that? Like what's next to the town hall? Next to the eagle. That's like our goal. So we have overall like one, two, three, four wall breaks for the queen. Four wall breaks overall, and then obviously I need to funnel, which means like I'm going to funnel over here. I'm going to funnel over here, and then in between, I'm going to, uh, as soon as the clan castle is coming out, I'm going to set my king in, wall break the king in here, with the lock launcher, pushing in here, with the royal chain, with the warden, and the plan then is to pretty much get all of this as well. This is what I'm trying to go with my hero push, this is what I'm trying to go for with my queen shore, something like this. So you can see already, the only thing which is left is pretty much only this corner, so it's not too much, so I'm just going to use my uh, my rocket loons to just support whatever I'm doing right there And to be honest like if I'm getting a one star it wouldn't be even too bad to be honest because I mean yeah We can just attack another time, but since this is coming down to hit rate obviously having a three star would be awesome So let's just go in again and hopefully hopefully we're getting it done like this is the army We have five wall breakers. We have the lock launcher with us, but uh, guys Let's just go in. Let's have some fun and let's hope for the best and Let's go. Let, let's let's go. Attack button is pressed. We are in. We are live. So let's get started. We are starting off with that queen. Delaying the healers, which is really important. We're going to delay those healers. So queen like this. Baby dragon. And then find already the bottom side with two minions. That's good. Don't, uh, don't use the healers just yet. Um, Archer right there. And now then the wall break. Oh. I think it should be okay. Now the heat is from the top side. I have to rage soon because of the defending queen. Yep, that's exactly what's about. Do we need to freeze? Yeah, I'm just going to freeze. I'm kind of scared right now. I don't want to use, lose my queen ability because the queen ability is later on going to be really important, I think. Which is at the top side. This is looking good. This is actually looking really good. Clan castle. Only a couple of archers are coming out. I was hoping that I get a better lure right now. But hey, that's still totally okay. Okay, next. Oh, boys. This is, that, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of freaking damage. Wait a second. Freeze. Okay. There's the wall break. Which means we can get started. Wait. Just freeze. Just freeze. That's too much damage, guys. Oh, no. Okay. Now the king in. Wall break in. Want warden in. Lock launcher in. Okay. Queen. Oh, queen ability. That was so close, guys. That was so close. Wall break there as well. Roy champion there as well. Oh my goodness, this is next rage. Warden ability. There's so many this is so many things at the same time. I don't know if I can make this. I don't know if I can make this. Two headhunts for the defending royal champion. Can I get the defending king down? That's the big question. So far it's looking good. Freeze. Freeze! Oh no! We lost our queen! We lost our queen. Okay, so can we save this? We can use one loon over there. Use the wizard over there. Okay, but we can still make this work. We can still make this work, guys. We have the yetis in the core. This is looking good. We have the healers on those yetis. Wait a second. I think that's still looking okay. But we have an invisibility spell. That's not too good, to be honest. Wait a second. Can we still take down the town hall? Already minions. One minute at the top side. A few minutes at the bottom side. 
Oh, that town hall. That town hall is going to be rough. Yeah. Invisibility spell. Come on, we need that town hall. If that town hall is going down, we should be able to do it. Oh no, those healers now. This king, this king messed up everything. And now as, as everything is tanking, I think I'm just going to send in my loons. I'm just seeing everything. I hope we can just overpower the town hall. I think it's looking good. We can get the town hall. Let's go. Let's go. Who of you guys thought we would fail after that queen dying? But it's Rocket Loons, baby. It is Rocket Loons, baby. Oh my goodness. This strategy, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so fun. It's so versatile. And it's so crazy strong. Wait a second. Wait a second. Please come on. Okay. 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 That last building. Ooh, I'm I'm sweating a little bit, so now we can just relax. I will choose one or two more attacks from my team And let's see what they did in this match Okay, the first attack I want to show you guys is from fly and he's actually bringing this super bowlers to the party and um, Actually, I just had recently a super bowler um, Guide pretty much so I want to see if everything what I explained to you guys is actually true because fly is actually really high in legends And that's the cool thing about super bowlers because so many people are saying that they are bad which is really confusing me to be honest because if you take a look at the higher ranks of legends You can see quite a few players using those super bowlers for example Lei is on rank 2 global with super bowlers so all of those people are I don't know like I don't know how, how to call it to be honest, but complaining about super bowlers being too weak or something the easy thing is Just get better at the game to be honest just to be kind of yeah, because you can see, you can see this, the, this troop is actually really strong in the right hands. You just have to learn it and you just have to make sure that you're protecting them. That's kind of feel like the key thing. And there's so many different options on how you can do that. Some people are hopping into um, ice golems and this one, uh, like a uh, fly, is actually using a Pekka with the king. So something which he's doing different in this approach, he is actually using the king to walk to the inside to tank for the super bowlers. This is something which I did not do in my guide and this is something I would obviously pick up um, if I would like to learn super bowlers because it's so key that they're surviving the first stage of the attack because as soon as you're in the core and using the warning ability they are just so scary they're dealing so much damage with those rocks it is just incredible and with that warning ability in the core they are such a scary troop to deal with as a defender and take a look at this they're just going through this core like nothing there is nothing which can stop them the scatter on the flank is getting dealt with easily no problem whatsoever with the royal champion and with the double jump, like they have just a straight pathing into that town or compartment that things are just looking too easy to be honest. Like if, if this base is just getting completely wrecked right now and there is no chance of coming back. So this is something I just wanted to address because really a lot of people said super bullets are weak and I completely disagree. I completely disagree. It, it, like you can obviously you can say like I for example said they're not weak. But I don't like to use them because they're like with the warm walk kind of spammy. But that is totally fine. But they are not weak at all if you can use them. And I think Fly is showing it. He's like top 50, at least top 40 or something global. Lei is top like top two, and those are only the two people which I 100% know. And there are obviously way more people with super bowlers at the top. So this troop is incredibly strong in the right hands. You just have to master it, try it a little bit, give it some time. And at the same time, it's not that hard to use, I think, overall. Either way, next attack is in. And some people said I have to put this attack into the video. Because even though this is another Queen Shot Rocket Loon attack, Alec is just pushing this strategy to the next level. Because what he does is he's adding Bard to the mix. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. He has 28 archers and 28 barbarians. And i have no clue what exactly he's going to do so let's see if we can learn something from this attack as well he's charging and the interesting thing is and that's something which i really like about those uh, this attack strategy in general is he is using the yeti blimp and that's the cool thing about the strategy you are so flexible with your siege you can use the lock launcher like i did you can use the uh, blimp like he did you can use even the slammer there are so many different options you can go for with this strategy which makes it really really flexible but so far so good he should take care of the clan castle that's exactly what he's doing there is the connection war break actually to get the queen further into this into the space and he already war break at the bottom left side to get that king into the base so so far this is looking pretty promising the healers 
Okay, you, someone has to explain to me why exactly is the loon getting targeted by the eagle. There's actually one loon with the king, with the warden on the field, with the queen on the field, with the healers on the field. I don't, I don't get it. I'm just so confused. The warden is by far the most random defense in the game. And I think Supercell should, should just make it more consistent, more reliable. I just think it's it's a bad defense if it's just so random. Like, could anyone explain me why exactly the eagle targeted the loon? I have, I have no idea either way, but now let's get back to the attack. Let's get back to some positive vibes because we really want to see what he is. Wait, is that jump connecting? That's the big question. I feel like that jump is not connecting. He's uh, using those rocket loons to funnel everything into the tunnel compartment of his heroes. The queen, nope, that wall break is not connecting. There's now the rage. Where is and the free, everything for the town hall is getting invested now, which means the royal champion is supposed to take down the, uh, the town hall now. With the queen not really making making the right moves, or at least the jump was not really how things were planned. But the barge is coming. The barge is coming home, guys. The barge is coming on this far left side. But the Mucha Fern Tower is still up. So those, this queen should actually finish off the base with the last couple of rocket loons and archers, obviously. So a really nice attack by Alec. And well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was some fun. Um, doing this. I, I, I'm really glad that I got asked joining uh, joining up for this uh, fun event or like fun matches. And if you would like to see more matches, let me know. Let me know. And thank you so much for watching. That's that's all what I uh, can say. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something new to step up your game at the same time. Enjoy the game a little bit more. So I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Thank you so much. Until then, and bye-bye.